Sometimes your client might want to make themselves look a little bit thinner. This is my friend Chris. He doesn't need this done to him, but I'm just using this as an example. In case you do have a client who just wants to look a little bit thinner, there's a couple ways to do this. This is one way. Uh, so we have lightningshadows.jpg open that we use in another tutorial, but we're going to use it for this one as well. It has a background layer by default. We need to make this a normal layer because if I press Control t on the PC or Command-T on the Mac, it doesn't do anything yet. That's the free transform shortcut. we got to double-click this background layer. Just hit OK. Now it's a normal layer. Now if we press Control t on the PC or Command-T on the Mac, it get, gives us these bounding boxes here. Another way to do that, I'm going to hit Escape to get out of that. If you use the rectangular marquee tool, if you just clicked and dragged around the entire canvas, or if you just press Control a or Command-A, when the marquee selection tool is selected, it will select everything around here. Then you use the move tool. But so you don't have to do that, just press Control t on the PC or Command-T on the Mac. It brings this up. And what you want to do is click and drag the left-hand side. It should be very subtle. It just makes the person a little bit thinner. They've done this in a lot of magazine photos, other press photos. Uh, and then you just press Enter to apply those changes. I'm going to scoot back one by pressing Control or Command Z to undo. There's another way you can do this as well. You can actually just make one side a little bit thinner. So if you click and drag with the marquee selection tool, maybe just go about halfway here. And as long as you don't feather the edge or do any kind of uh, adjustment to the edge so it's softer, uh, I'm just use the move tool here and click and drag. And then I'm going to apply it because I clicked another tool. You can press enter or just click apply if you choose another tool. I'm just going to click anywhere to deselect. And then there you go. There's the before. And then if we redo it, there's after. And there's no seam here on the edge just because we didn't adjust the edge so that it was soft. It's a very hard edge. So you can actually do this in two ways. Just make the entire photo a little bit skinnier or just draw selection over half and drag it as well. So that's one way to lose weight in Photoshop.